<laughs> Hello, I really hope this is working. YouTube live is so confused. Like, maybe it's confusing. I don't know. It might, like, I think I'm here. I'm not used to this. Hi. Okay, cool. So it is, it is live. Neat. Okay. Um, one second. I'm going to post on Discord. At everyone. Okay, now I'm live. Um, hello, friends. Okay, so I meant to come on here last week, and then I didn't because of no good reason at all. So, how are you guys? I miss you. I've been having the toughest time figuring out what to do, um, as far as YouTube stuff goes. Hello, Samantha. Hello, Jess. How are you guys? I'm trying to figure out what kind of makeup stuff. Hi, Shannon. We want to do today. Um, I just got these new things from Amazon that I feel like are definitely, um... Their knockoff of the Stila Glitter and Glow. I almost, literally almost hit that, hit myself in the eye. Um, they are knockoffs of that, but like, they're really cute. Like, this is the one I, the only one I've opened so far. The only thing that's annoying me is that it's like, each one is individually wrapped, which drives me crazy. I can't. You can't? Okay. Well, you can when you're done, okay? You can come say hi. If it's on my, um, you can come say hi really quick. Hi. Do you want to say hi really quick? I said it's okay. You wait. So you mean on your your scavenger hunt for school, there isn't a go on your mom's live stream on YouTube? Oh man! Hi guys. Hello, hello. Trying to open these. I'm the worst when it comes to these like little nope, plastic. It's not on here. It's not film it's a not, video. It's not film a video. Film a video is not on there. Nope. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dad said she can't be on the video. Ah! Driving me nuts. But he said at least I have to do my scavenger hunt first. Yeah. So maybe you'll still be doing this video. Maybe. 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 We'll go finish your scavenger hunt, okay? Okay. You want to say hi? You can say hi. It's okay. Actually, I don't have to do all of the pages because yeah. that's a bit too much. Okay. And do you want to say hi? Hi. Are you okay? What are you going to film? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to film. Jay says hi. Jess says hi. Jess says hi. Everyone says hi. Everyone says hi. Is that good? Okay, go finish your homework and then um, they can come back, okay? Okay. Cool. I'm going to go do my scavenger hunt. You're going to go do your scavenger hunt? Sounds good. And I'll come back. Okay. Maybe I could do a bit of makeup, maybe. Or maybe we could make it together like last time, but that would be funny. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Oh my gosh, she's she's funny. All right, guys. Okay, so it is noon. I was originally planning to try and start this at eleven, but that also was me having very high hopes for myself more than anything else. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I just kind of figured I could come on, have fun, talk times, hangouts, stuff like that. Um, so... Now I have to snuggle in crazy blankets and watch movies. Okay. <laughs> well, you could do that later because we're going to watch Mulan, remember? No. So we could do it later, okay? Yeah, that's why I wanted to do it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we're watching Mulan today in um, on Discord. We're having a movie party. We're all going to watch Mulan together. But no one will be able to talk. Nobody will be able to talk. 
Yes, everyone will be muted so that we can't hear them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she wants to be on YouTube so badly, like, all of the time. So anytime that we do anything, like the other day I bought her this new uh, sour candy. She loves sour candy. And I bought her it, and the first, I knew this was what, what was going to happen, but the first thing that she, um, that she did was she wanted immediately to do a video where it was like the sour candy challenge. And it just makes me laugh because she's like, she always wants to film everything. Always wants to do videos. And then gets mad when I don't upload them to YouTube. <laughs> oh, so how's it going everybody? What's going on today? I have to go to Michael's at some point today or tomorrow. Um, I was, um, I was on Discord, I was hanging out with everybody, and, um, I think it was Wendy. Wendy posted this, um, this thing that was at Michael's where it's these little cauldrons, and they are dishwasher and microwave safe, so you actually can use them as, like, a dish, and, oh my gosh, it's, I'm so excited, because we were, we were joking, um, on Twitch, I think it was Jay, Jay's Twitch, right? Where we were playing Jackbox and we were joking about like spooky soup. So it would be like spoopy. And so um, the cauldron for soup kind of just felt appropriate. Do -do -do. All video recording assignments like he's a YouTuber. That's so funny. That's pretty much what Violet does too. She gets shy when it's like Zoom classes and stuff, but um, she definitely like well, like is a YouTube child on the inside. I just have not really dove into it just because life is weird right now. Do, 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 do. You're dying of allergies. No, that's the worst. Oh my gosh, there's nothing worse than that. Hi, Christina. Um, what did I just see? Oh, somebody said something about my hair. Oh, thank you so much, Christy. Um, and Andrea. Yeah, okay, so let me tell you about my hair because I hate it. <laughs> like, I'm trying so hard to love it or figure out what to do with it, but I am, like, here's where I'm at. I really liked it when I got it done and when, when it was blow-dried and curled. Um, but I've been having a really tough time with the curly girl um, right now because it's like the length of it is just so weird that it's like it works sometimes or it doesn't and it just is really frustrating. So I'm almost debating if I should just not do curly girl for a little while just until my hair is at a length. Ooh, that was like, look at that. That was like the most perfect G I've ever created in my life backwards on here but it's a very perfect g so if i do that it's a very perfect regular g um but it's like i don't know what to do with it because the like having it curly just isn't really working so i'm constantly like i don't know how to do my own hair so i'm wondering if i should just start blow drying it and curling it or doing something with it that's not my like norm until it's at a length that doesn't make me feel like just not sure what to do. It's frustrating. It's very frustrating. Jay, you didn't get your hair cut? Oh, I'm sorry. I have not tried, um, I have not tried less. I've seen them a lot, but I haven't tried them. Um, but I mean, I use Briogeo. Like, I, I know the stuff that I, I use is like really good quality because I use Briogeo and I use Olaplex and I use like the Not Your Mother's Curl line, which I love, but like, I don't know, man, something, something about it, like just is not, <laughs> just trying really hard to like, I don't know, like it or, I think it's also that like when I, when I got it done, I thought that it was just gonna be like the roots and then it was gonna stay blonde, but the rest of the hair is just so porous that it just, <laughs> sucked all of the pink up when it was rinsing it out so I think it's just like maybe it's because it's also really pink I don't know 
know. There's just something about it where I'm just like, mm. <laughs> having a tough time. With Diva, no, see, okay, so with Diva Curl, I um, stopped using their stuff quite a while ago, and it's always been, I've never been, like, only using Diva Curl. It's always been, like, with a mix of other products, so I never really had issues with that, and with that was more, like, I feel like people's hair was falling out and stuff, so I don't feel like it's that, and I haven't really used Diva Curl in a really long time, ever since all of that, like, craziness started to happen, so I don't think that that is... Um, what it is. I don't know though. I think it's just that I ruined my hair so much during quarantine because like this part is good but that also see so where it's darker pink is where it is the least damaged. All of this was just bleached and just destroyed with quarantine uh, impulsiveness. So I think that it's just it is what it is. This is what my scavenger hunt says. What does your scavenger what hunt say? Watch. What is that? Is that a baby? It's a New York City. It's a New York City baby? That's weird. What eyeshadow? That's what I don't know what eyeshadow palette I should use. Um, I was thinking about that because I have, like, I've been using some, like, super inexpensive stuff, um, lately, but I have some things that I just haven't touched yet. Like, I have the, the, um, I have some new ColourPop that I haven't touched, and I have some new words, Urban Decay, the, the Urban Decay, the purple naked one I still haven't used yet. So I figured maybe that one. I don't know. I'm also realizing that I was like, I'm going to do a live. And like, usually I feel like I need something to talk about. Otherwise I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, I pro like, that's probably what I'm going to do, Jay. I just have to really fight. Um, I have to really fight that, like, that urge in my brain that tells me. What is that? That was weird. Um. You know, sometimes, like, really bad breaks. Like, that's what it sounds like. That really high-pitched sound. Um, yeah, no, I know I need to leave it alone. I know, I know that that's what I need to do, but it's very difficult for me. Especially when I have all of the, like, the things on hand to completely destroy it. <laughs> it's like my, it's like my kryptonite is just, just hair stuff. Can't leave it alone. My downfall. Diva Curl caused a giant bald spot on once. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I was wondering that too, because like there was a while where I would keep putting my hair up and it seemed, but see, so then no, it's not Diva Curl. That's just how my hair grows. It just is thinner on the sides, which I believe is a normal thing. I don't know. It's hard for me to tell because I, in general, have so much, um, you just heard that outside your window, that's really terrifying. Um, I have so much hair, so when I see areas that seem like this, it's like I have to remember, one, it's probably not like what I am immediately, like, web MDing my hair, where I'm like, it's going, it's all falling out, but two, it's also because of how my hair is curling, like, it goes into clumps like that, so it's going to look more sparse when it's clumped together like that, instead of if it was brushed out and all, like, everywhere, do you know what I mean? Do I make sense? would overtone I mean overtone is always an option but like I don't overtone is for like an entire different hair color and I just don't I think that right now like the main thing I need to talk myself out of um would be ah, using um blank canvas just to take all of the color out which I just shouldn't do <laughs> just leaving it alone trying really hard <laughs> Okay, should we use this? I haven't touched it yet. I was talking about this on uh, one of my Amazon streams. We played, oh my gosh, we played the, the new Marvel game yesterday and it's really, really fun. And we played Tony Hawk, which I can't comment on because I don't have like that nostalgia for it. 
I have lots of Arctic Fox. It's just the main thing is I need to just not. I need to not. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. I just need to not. Okay. Cool. So we will use ugh, the Urban Decay one. You just watched my lip filler for chap lips and you were wondering if it was still worth the money. Um, okay, so I loved when I had lip filler and I absolutely 100% can say that it made a huge difference in how, like, chapped my, my lips would feel. My lips still got chapped, but, like, I have a problem where my lips constantly are chapped and super, super dry and I'm a very, like... I, one of my like, worst habits ever is like picking at my lips, picking at my fingers, messing with stuff, and then it looks terrible. And, the, and it, like I do it in the same thing um, with my hair. It's everything. I can't leave well enough alone. That's like my, that's my downfall. Oh, it would match my shirt. This, this shirt, um, I got this at Target, and then I tie-dyed it myself, and I was really happy with how it turned out. Because I found, like, I went to Target just looking for white shirts. And then I saw a Shroot Farms one, and I was like, oh, my God. And so then I made it beet stained, and I was really happy with how this one turned out. Um, so what was I going with this? Oh, yeah. So I do think that it was worth it in the sense that it made it so that I couldn't, my lips didn't feel dry. So I didn't notice it as much, if that makes sense. Hi, Paul. <laughs> so crafty. Oh, my God. Okay, so I'm going to, ooh, you know what? No, I'm not going to use this. I bought something last week that I haven't had in so long. Ah, I haven't had this in probably like seven years. <laughs> it's been such a long time. And um, so I got it in remembrance, but also because I forgot how well it works. So this is like ultra old school right here right like super old school and it still works just as well and is still just as awesome so i don't know why i stopped using it <laughs> it is the og so good <laughs> super super throwback Yes, I'm so excited to watch Mulan too. If you guys want to get in on this, you can go to leashland.com, sign up Narwhal Nation. We're watching Mulan at three o'clock, so in two and a half hours, and everyone has to be completely, like, everyone's going to be muted, so you don't have to worry about everyone talking over it and stuff like that. Um, I'm very excited to see it, and I'm excited to watch it with everybody. Your hair looks like Princess Diaries the before. <laughs> So funny oh man I relate to that so much her before picture actually looks like my my eighth grade picture my eighth grade picture was like that long and like this big and like giant and crazy um and it was definitely like when I first learned I had really curly hair and back then basically all I did was just like take 10 pounds of mousse so just be this huge amount and my hair was super crunchy and I wore it like I remember wearing a tiara um to my graduation a ti <laughs> Jeez. a tiara a white sleeveless button-up blouse thing and a tie because I clearly even though I pretended I hated her, I clearly wanted to um, personify Avril Lavigne. Personify is not the right word, but em embody Avril Lavigne. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was huge, huge and and blonde and very very long, long for me at least. It was like here, but. <laughs> Now I'm remembering. So it was my eight or my freshman year ID where I tried to I tried to flat iron my hair and uh, did not have a good flat iron or they didn't exist back at like back then there wasn't good flat irons. I don't know. But it's essentially like my hair was to here and it went just like this. 
Like it was this, it was this big. <laughs> and it was like all the same length. So it just was like, <laughs> like not, not working. <laughs> I don't think I knew that like thinning out your hair was a thing. Uh, so that just wasn't the cutest thing. Hi, Tanya. Oh my gosh, Jane, that sounds so painful. Oof. Yeah, I've learned, uh, see, the problem is, is I'm, I'm doing the same thing with Violet, which is why Violet's hair looks so stringy, but I don't brush my hair unless it's in the shower. Violet needs her hair brushed more than that, and I'm just bad at it. But essentially, she is not going anywhere for a while. Her school goes back in person on Tuesday, but we're staying online. Um, and her school schedule completely is changing. Um, before... Before, why did it hide that? That's weird. Um, before, like the last, she's been in school since July 27th. And what her schedule has been so far has been, she has a specials class, which is like PE, art, technology. She has one of those every morning except Wednesdays from 8 to 8.30. And then she has her regular class from 8.45 to 9.30. And then she has all of this homework that she has to do starting Tuesday it's like 8 to 9 45 is one class and then 12 30 to 1 15 or something is another and then there's another with like 11 to something so there's like it's it's suddenly gone from like one thing to literally three times as much and I don't know if she's still gonna have the same amount of homework because the homework has been crazy Ooh. so it's a lot a lot lot I'm hoping because the way that her school works is that you can switch to in person at any time so I'm hoping I don't know um by the time she has fall break because she has fall break in October I'm hoping by then that I that both Paul and I feel like okay enough for her to um go back to actual school we'll see no promises, but like, this is a lot, a lot, lot. And I just, I'm like, I don't know. Everything is lame. Yes, I brush my hair only in the shower because mm -mm, when it's covered, it like covered in conditioner. And that's it. So we're, we're doing, um, we are doing the, um, she's not really doing homeschooling. I mean, I guess it is homeschooling, but it is through her school. It's been a lot. Paul has honestly taken on the majority of it because he is much more patient than I am when it comes to that stuff. So he has really been taking the reins with it. Um, Violet's been doing doing really well with it though which is good it's been a little bit difficult sometimes because she is very much the type where like if she's not focused she's not gonna focus so it's definitely been a little bit difficult in that sense but we've been we've been getting through it she just realized recently that she could do her homework on um, her ipad so that's made it better better in the sense that she can use my apple pencil so that she actually um can write because most of the stuff she's just been doing the typing and I'm like you need to write things <laughs> um I didn't get the stoned palette um I'm I didn't get it and so I don't know if like Urban Decay was like hey you haven't done videos in so long we're taking you off your our list or if they they might have sent an email that I didn't reply to um either way I'm not mad about it because I mean, this literally came out how long ago? And this is the first time I'm using it, so I can't blame them for being like, what are we doing? <laughs> so, no, I didn't get that one, but honestly, I'm not upset about it. I'm just so, like, everything feels the same. Is that just me? Every time I see new stuff, like, for example, um, who is it? Is it Selena Gomez that's coming out with raw, Rare Beauty? Is that what it's called? I saw pictures, and I was like, <laughs> neat I don't know I feel so bored hi what'd you do 
You finished? Yeah. Awesome. It's not all my homework. Thanks for the warning. On the now. You could go on the stream now? Yeah. Okay. Well, Samantha asked, uh, oh, not Samantha, I'm sorry. Uh, what grade are you in? First grade. You're in first grade? Mm-hmm. She just finished her scavenger hunt. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure it's nice. I'm sure that the stone palette is nice. I just don't. It looks fun. Or you've heard good reviews about rare beauty. It just looks boring. And I just don't want to buy stuff Mom. because of a name that's attached Mom, to it. Yeah. when I was watching thing, um, the public show. Yeah, with the baby? I saw this. Oh, you did? It wasn't only a baby. Oh, it wasn't only a baby? Okay. Statues. Oh, it was statues of babies. And it what? Was like a girl? No, that public statues. Oh, okay. In costume. Do you like doing school at home? Mm, not that much. Not that much. Mm -mm. Miss my friends. You miss your friends? Yeah, I know. It's tough, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But soon you'll be able to go back, okay? I, I knew you were going. Because you made that staff. Yeah. Because that's what you were going to do. Yeah, I don't know what she was watching, but she showed me a picture of a baby in Times Square dancing like this with like a... I don't know if it was supposed to be Trump. It was... It said, was it supposed to be Donald Trump? It said, um, Donald Trump is my dad. Okay. Now it makes sense. Why did you have to watch that for your school? I have no idea. I, I don't think you had to watch that for your school. I'm pretty sure it said, like, watch a video. Not. It definitely didn't say watch this particular video. No. Nope, oh, she had to watch people in public, so she watched a video of people in public. Oh, my gosh. So you found the video. Okay. Now it makes sense because she's saying it as if, like, her teacher is like, watch this political nonsense which i'm like i don't feel like that's true yeah yeah what are we gonna do um i don't know what brands still excite me i just saw that i'm like everything feels so boring <laughs> everything is the same you know what i mean like everything feels like it's been done and that's what's tough yeah. what what are you gonna do and it's also a matter of the fact that, like, a lot of the more popular companies, like, I don't know who's, who makes anything anymore. I feel like at this point, so much stuff is made in China that, like, are we paying for a brand name or are we paying for, like, the actual product? Do you know what I mean? Because I feel like so many, they, like, at this point, I feel like, I don't know, like, I don't... I want to get like conspiracy theory on here that's what i worry i'm gonna start doing <laughs> i need to stop what are we gonna do but i don't know it also is probably that i just haven't been playing paying attention enough i don't know i'm doing my thing hmm i also feel like my camera feels like it's really washed out let me see if i can fix that That looks better. That was looking like super washed out. Start getting them woke. <laughs> Are you gonna be a dancer? Jay wants to know if you're gonna be a dancer when you grow up. You don't know? You're gonna be in a band? Are you gonna be a singer? Fi's favorite, um, who's your favorite singer? Poppy? Poppy. <laughs> These don't get very dark. I know it's a naked palette, but like... I'm gonna go watch another room. Okay. Bye, Goofy. Oh my gosh, she's so weird. <laughs> what? You're silly. What do you want to tell them? She's excited because, like, when we go on Twitch, she's not allowed to be on the videos. Um, 
but when I'm on Amazon or on YouTube, she is allowed to be on them. So she's very, she's very excited. It's going on YouTube? Yes, it's on YouTube right now. It's live. Ooh, Tanya, what is that? What is that? Tanya, you have my attention. Okay, let me see if I have this set up. Yep, I cool. I wasn't expecting it to work that well. That looks um, amazing. Let's see this video. Um, okay, okay. I'm paying attention. I want them. Thank you, Tanya. You've done it. You found something that I don't have that I need. <laughs> that looks so cool. That looks so cool. That That's like all of those, um, there's a lot of brands that sell like the powder. Um, but I'm always worried when, when it's like a pigment that I've noticed when it's the pigments that have those multi-chromes, it's always indie brands, which isn't a bad thing, but to me that makes me question how okay it is to use around your eyes because there's no rules that they have to really follow. Um, so it definitely worries me because it's like, is this the same stuff that they put like into nail powder? Is it the exact same stuff? Because like, I don't know if I want that on my eyes. So when like, because no like big name brands have really jumped on that trend, it just leaves me kind of like, eh. but the fact that Ciate is, is that how you say it? Ciate is doing it. That makes me feel a little bit better. <coughs> is this on Ulta or anything or do I have to buy it from their website? Um, because I absolutely need them. Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> they look amazing. Okay, I don't know what I want to do here. All of these colors are kind of blending into like one shade. What's wrong, sweetie? You said that you were doing your own thing. Okay. They're at Sephora? Perfect. Um, so you well, I'm doing my, my video right now, so I can't. Those look really cool. See, and that's the type of stuff that makes me excited. And, and that's what's such a bummer is because I have to, like, acknowledge the fact that, yes, um, I want, like, new and, and innovative stuff like that. However, I also have to – what is happening over here? What is that line? How did that – how is that there? Um, I also have to acknowledge the fact that I am the minority. I am not who – most brands are making a product for. Um, most brands are making a product for somebody who wears the same colored eyeshadows, the same, they do the same thing. So yes, Selena, Selena Gomez, right, uh, is creating rare beauty and that's more neutral, soft stuff. And people are going to buy it, one, because they like those types of colors and two, because they want to support her. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But for me, it's someone, as someone who's been wearing all sorts of, like, makeup and craziness all of the time, it definitely ends up being, like, okay. <laughs> like, I, I, I have this. I've seen this. And I also remember very, very vividly in the past um, doing the, that thing where, like, especially with MAC, where it would be, uh, they'd come out with a new collection and it would be, convincing yourself that the colors were different even though they really weren't so like you'd be like okay well this one has a little bit of like a gold sparkle to it but this one it's more of like a yellow so they're totally different they're not different they look exactly the same they might look different when you like are piling it on like on swatches but on your eyes it's gonna look exactly the same so like I definitely remember being in that um, mindset of like I need all of the makeups but we're not there anymore and it's been like me trying, me finding stuff that's like more inexpensive. Um, let me show you. So I've been finding like more inexpensive stuff that is like really nice quality. Um, is this what I want to 
show? Yeah, I think so. So, like, this is a good example. So, this one I got on Amazon, and it says color board. This was, like, I think $15? Perhaps? Oh, it's not on Sephora? That's okay. And it, they have, like, all of these really bright colors, and they're all in this thing that's, like, super cool. Um... Oh wait, I forgot, there's more than that. There's four. Yeah. And the colors are like really like they're bright. And they're they're super, super bold. So like um this yellow. Like that's good quality. And this was like a $15 palette. And so I'm just sort of wondering, like, is the same brand that made this the same one that is making Morphe and the same one that is making all of these other ones that you know what I mean like I can't help but wonder that because am I am I paying for a name brand and a person attached to it it's really weird for me to think these things because I remember like a decade ago doing lots of videos about like counterfeit Mac and stuff like that but in this like like look at that that's nuts right that's super 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 pigmented this one does have a lot of glitters in it, but like, eh, I just use glitters not on my, direct on my eyeball. Let's see what else. Let's do some blues. It's a real test. They feel super soft too. Running out of space. Mm, I guess I could do right here. see what I mean like that's pretty impressive for a $15 palette they're incredibly creamy they feel super super soft and like super super smooth so I mean that's I guess that's just where I'm at with like I don't want to keep spending crazy amounts of money on these products when I can find ones that are not expensive um, oh there was something else I wanted to show you guys if I have it maybe yeah, this one. So this one I did a tutorial on um, Amazon the other day, and I used this palette. This one is called Colorboard by Beauty Glazed. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to pull it up on Amazon and then post an affiliate link because I hope you love me. Do, 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 do. Let's see, here it is. Uno Somento. Somento. Uno Momento. Hi, Elvira, queen of makeup. Hi, Violet. Here's a link. Um, But it's, like, really good quality, and was I right on the price? $16.88, I was very close. Like, price is right. I would, I would probably possibly win. What? Okay, sounds good. Um, this was another one that I had gotten. This is from You Can Be. I've been really liking their stuff lately. So this one looks like this. And it's also like awesome quality. And it's a lot of different textures too. Um, so this is another one that I'm like really, really into. I mean, it's got like these really bright colors. The only thing that's weird about it, we've decided is this shade called Grunge, which is actually really appropriately named. But like, I can't figure out where in this palette it belongs because <laughs> it's such a strange color. But again, ooh, didn't mean to overlap that. That's, that's not cute, but you know what I'm saying. They're all really nice quality. And that one again is like 10 bucks. Um, the other reason I didn't, I didn't get the, uh, Nikki palette. I almost did. And then I didn't. Um, and the main reason was because I just like, like I said, I just bought these ones that were super, super bright. I wanted to show you guys some other ones from them. Um, yay. Okay. I'm glad that this is working. So they have like all of these ones that are so like this one was 12 bucks or 13, I guess. So still not bad. They have some where they do like dupes of other like Anastasia and stuff like that, which I don't really love. Um, the like direct copying kind of makes me like annoyed, but there's a lot of um, like these ones. These ones are so cool and super, super, super bright. 
This one I keep debating getting because it looks like amazing. And it's only eight bucks. So those are definitely um, ones that I am looking at. What's up, baby? What's up? You don't know? You like the grunge color, but I don't know what to do with it. Like, where where does it go with these colors? What do I mix it with? Red. You mix this color with red? If I mix that color with red, you know what happens? No. It turns brown. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I have brown. You might need brown. With yellow? They're not really... This one's more like a lighter version of... I think I like that one. You like it? Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, but what do we? It's just a darker version of yellow. You just have it on its own. Yeah, that I looks guess. Fine. But I feel like if it's in a palette, it should be going with the other colors, right? Yeah. We're, I mean, I don't know. You have a drink. I have coffee. You're gonna drink that? Is it like your caramel coffee? It's like coffee coffee. <laughs> Isn't that bad? <laughs> Next time. It isn't that bad as you're finding like a random old soda can to drink. Yeah, okay. Sure. She's funny. Okay, so I'm using the Urban Decay, the Ultraviolet palettes, what I have on my eyeballs right now. Um, but I don't know how don't much sense, else I'm going to old Dr. Pepper gun tastes when old Fresca tastes Old good. Fresca probably tastes fine because it's, like, juicy, but old Dr. Pepper probably tastes gross. Um, these were the other things that I wanted to try. So these are, like... Like soda with water in it. Basically, knockoff versions of um, the Steel of Glitter and Glow. You drank all of it. It's all right. Okay. Yep, Violet Six. She's in first grade, and she's crazy, right? She wants to cut her hair off, or do you want your hair to grow? I want. I want to go like this short. You want to cut it at your that chin? My cute short. Do you want bangs? Next makeup stream I have to use grunge. Yeah, that looks perfect. That looks perfect. So you don't want bangs this time? No, it's not like that. I want like this, and then I want my hair dyed white. White? And blonde? Your hair is basically blonde from the sun. What about pink? Oh, yeah, I remember now. Blue with pink stripes. Oh, you want blue with pink stripes. Can we ever do that? Maybe. When can we ever do she that? she likes having her um hair short. Yes. Violet likes having her hair short. It looks um like chin short. length is usually what we always seem to go back to. Um yeah, she's doing online school. Do she guys, um Do you guys think this is It's been cute? it's it's changing now because her her uh school's going back in person, so only like I think it was something like 560 kids are going back and like 170 are staying online. So they're really upping the um, curriculum since all the other kids are going to be getting a lot more learning done than what it was. So like it's basically three times as much school starting on Tuesday. Um, you wonder if she wants her hair cut short because she's styling herself based on me. I don't know because she she's had her hair short a lot of times, right? Your hair's been more short longer than it's been long, right? Why do you want to get your hair cut? Because of me or just because of you? Um, I think it looks more cute. You think it looks more cute? I think it looks beautiful long, too. Yeah, but I think it's more cute short. You think it's more cute short? Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you, like, right here with yours? You want it cut here? Mine is to my chin. Do you want yours to your chin? But without curly, but I still, I want pink, pink with blue in it. No, blue with pink in it because it's cute. 
blue with pink in it because it's cute. And I love cotton candy. And you love cotton candy. That makes I more sense. I want to show my cotton candy to my boyfriend house. What? I want to show my cotton candy to him. Your cotton candy play now? Yeah, I made, I made cotton candy play now. Okay. I'm gonna go get that. From Girl Meets World. We never really watched a lot of Girl Meets World, so I don't, I'm not like super familiar I'm with like, it. I'm gonna get it real quick. Okay. Um, I don't know if blue could work. Okay, yeah, this is so much lighter than what my brain wanted it to be. <coughs> Maybe I'll use that, this one. We'll use a little bit of this one to make it more fun. Whew. Maybe this color or this one. It just needs more like, I don't know, all of these colors just seem like they're blending all together and just being like one which is not really what I'm going for right now. Oh yeah, Violet made cotton candy Play-Doh yesterday. That's what she wants to show you guys. It says cotton candy. It says cotton candy and I believe it's pink it and white. Oh, please, yeah, don't open it. You don't need to open it. I can't. Um, what Netflix shows am I? Okay, so we are watching, it's not on Netflix, but we're, we're doing in, on Discord in the VIP section, we, we do, um, a monthly TV club, essentially, and so this month we're doing Alias, so we've been watching Alias, um, what are you doing? Okay. Um, also... What else? What else? I just finished. We finished Umbrella Academy not that long ago. Highly recommend that one. Um, and then I want to watch the new season of The Boys, but I'm kind of bummed that it's a weekly thing. So I've okay. been I haven't watched it yet. What is my opinion on uh, Teenage Bounty Hunters? We have not watched. It's on my list. Um, we were going to try and watch it during the day, and then the first scene was like, oh, we cannot watch this during the day scene. Um, if you get what I'm saying. So, we, 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 we were going to watch it, um, we planned to watch it like a week ago, and then it was like, can't risk somebody walking in on that. So, <laughs> yes, next time is going to be all the Treehouse of Horrors. I'm excited about that. It has been such a long time since I've really binged any Simpsons. Um, but yeah, okay, so I was answering something about, oh, the ultraviolet palette. So this is the first time I've used it, and I'm just like, uh, I, I don't, like, I, I don't know. It just feels like everything is, and maybe it's because it's all supposed to be, like, naked colors, I guess, even though it's purple, but it just feels so very, everything is, like, it feels muddy. You know what I mean? Like, everything is the same intensity so everything in the in this palette's like a five so when you're trying to put all the co like different colors together everything ends up feeling really murky is the vibe I'm getting so far in the uh how long have I been live hour almost an hour that I've played with this it just feels very like everything is the same you know what I mean so that's what's so that's what's so frustrating about stuff lately <laughs> <laughs> so right now I'm, I'm doing that palette I linked that color board palette which is adding this bright purple which is making it more fun the heat yeah it's just like the naked palettes I understand what they're trying to do is like have a easily accessible brighter colors but it just feels like that would work great if, if you know if I was someone who wore like one color or two colors at a time, but that's not me. I always am trying to do like 85 colors at a time. Do you hate when you like, what, what is this? Why is there a line there? How did that line get there? That's like, why? <laughs> 
I feel a bit done with the Naked series. I used to be a huge fan of the first three, but I feel like it's it's felt that way for a while, Amy. I'm not going to lie. It definitely feels very much like they they are going to milk it for all it's worth. And it's felt that way since, like, the third one, I feel like. Once they started going off into, like, Naked Smokey, Naked Heat, Naked Ultraviolet, like, it's just them using the name the naked name and using the packaging style to do this stuff but at the same time people eat it up you know I see lots of people like doing the fantasy palettes or what I don't know what if they have like an official name but when people will like design their own palette I've seen a lot of people who will design like naked UV and it's like all ultraviolet colors and all this stuff and I'm like but why are we why is it naked and it's because that's that's the brand it's not even about it being necessarily low key it's about um <clears throat> it being associated with that style of packaging and that quality i guess popular line exactly yes yeah, don't I, ha I don't have it and I, I won't i'm not gonna buy it so hopefully it's really nice you did get Nikki's palette. I debated it. I think that it's definitely um, a good price. I was very surprised at the price on it, um, which was really awesome because that, you know, with her her name on it, they could have easily charged, like, what was it? It was 30 bucks. They could have easily charged, like, $40, $50 for the palette just because it of who it's associated with. Okay, so now I've, like, officially covered everything from the Naked palette with this cheap $15 crap palette. It's not crap, though, obviously. It's really, it's really not. But it just, it makes me laugh that I'm like, nah, this isn't enough. Nah. We're going to completely cover everything because you're not great. And that's so much more bright. Like, come on. Come on. Okay, I want to use one of these. Um, I don't know which one, though. I got to open them all. I got to open it all. Spend more time creating product, not just packaging. I totally understand that. It's super sleek. The naked packaging is amazing. It's sleek. Ooh, that's pretty. This matches everything. Why am I not in focus? Why is Ursula and Groot in focus? Hello? Come on. Stop. Thank you. It like, <laughs> the camera like caught eyes on Ursula and was like, ooh. This one. I like this one. I want to use it. I want to use it. That's fancy. Do you ever just like look at yourself at a weird angle and you're like, why do I look like a frog? Is that just me? I feel like I have frog eyes, like they pop out of my skull. <laughs> oh man. Um, setting powder. I don't know. Um, I don't really use it. I use it sometimes. The one I have I think is Derma Blend. Let me look. Yeah, Derma Blend. Frogs. I feel like my eyeballs are too big. They just like look like too much. Every time I do these, I'm like, what else can I talk about? Like, it gets quiet, and I'm just like, ah! <laughs> oh, my gosh! Okay, yeah, that, that's cool. I like that. I like it. I need something on the bottom, though. Maybe that's part of it. Oh, my gosh, so I, um, Cheshire Cat Vibes. <laughs> Um, 
So I just was on, I was looking for palettes. Is this what I want? Ooh, that's cute. I think it's like one of those. Um, hi, babe. What's wrong? Watching, Watching Poppy. Mm -hmm. um, I was on Amazon looking for different palettes, and I uh, found this one that's literally called the Alicia palette. And I haven't bought it yet, but I've had people who told me it's actually really yeah. nice. I hate the way Play-Doh, oh, I hate the way Play-Doh smells. It makes me want to literally vomit everywhere. I can't do it. Can't do it. Okay. Let's get some, ooh. Too bad, but I'm going to play with it. You're going to play with what? Play-Doh. Play-Doh? Yeah. No, I haven't, I haven't bought the Alicia palette yet. I had it in my cart, and then I just haven't bought it yet, but it definitely, it definitely cracks me up. It smells like kindergarten. I just, ugh. ugh. No, you're fine, sweetie. Yeah, no, you're not. It's totally fine. I was trying to explain to Violet this morning, because we got up, and we, uh, I was washing my face, and she asked me what I was doing, and so she wanted to wash her face, so she washed her face with me. And then I put deodorant on, and um, she was like, what's that for? I was like, it's it's so you don't smell bad, but you don't smell bad, so you don't need to put any on. And she's like, oh, is it like if I was playing with Play-Doh and then I smell bad? I was like, not at all. <laughs> uh, we've definitely made Play-Doh in the past. Uh, this, a long, 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 a long, 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 long time long, ago. Long, 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 this was long, not, we were, we were at Costco yesterday did we go yesterday and uh yesterday or two days ago and they had like a ten dollar pack that she wanted so she got the ten dollar pack what's wrong ween this um is from it this is the superhero liner it's pretty much what I just have right now. It's almost dried out, though. In kindergarten, you wanted to eat it. This You had homemade Play-Doh that smelled like mint. That's so crazy. Um, Make it with Kool-Aid. I feel like that would make it stain everything. When does it turn more autumnal? Autumnal? Um, in Arizona, I would say October. Um, let me look at what the weather is. Hi, Kimberly. If I look at the weather, it will tell me. It will give me some sort of hint. Okay, so today the high is 111. Um, ooh, in the middle of the week, we go to 96. And then next Monday, not this Monday, next Monday is 105. So we're trending in the right direction. Sort of. Usually it's like mid-October that it starts to get really nice. And that's my favorite time of year because then it's like October, November, December, January, February, March, half of April. It means I don't have to have my air conditioning on, which means my air conditioning and electricity bill plummets. So right now it's like not, it's not cute. It's like, it's like 400 or so a month for my electricity bill, but then it goes down to like $100 a month when it's, um, when it is cooler and I can have my windows actually open. Um, it doesn't stain at all when you mix Kool-Aid in. That's so weird. I would expect it to absolutely, you're high on Tuesdays, 46. Oh, I'm so jealous. I wish, I wish so much. Um, yeah, because 111, not about it. Not about it at all. Um, are you still doing Curly Girl? Do you think it's the shorter hair is easier? No. Okay, so yeah, I'm doing Curly Girl, but I'm like over. I was talking about this in the beginning of this stream. Um, with the way that my hair is cut right now, I just, it's like, I don't know if it is a mix of, um, can you turn it down, sweetie? Do you just want to go in the loft? Do you want to stay in here with me? You don't turn it all the way down. Okay. Um, it's 118 in LA. Are you kidding me? 
Um, what was I reading? Oh, Curly Girl. Okay, so Curly Girl, this is still it, but I'm debating if I just want to stop until it grows out more because I just really haven't been liking it. Um, Ty, this was the the Urban Decay palette, and then I covered it with a $15 palette to make it less awful. So. The volume is great. The volume is mm, There's that. What? The volume is one. The volume is one doesn't have to be one. Um, yes, I want, okay, so I want to do more YouTube videos. I've just, like, I'm in this place. That's why I like doing live, because then I just don't have a choice. A lot of the times what happens with, um, what, what happens with me is, like, I'll film a video, and then I don't edit it because I'm not happy with it, or, like, I don't know. Stuff happens. This is officially dead. So... I just need to figure out what I want to do because I genuinely don't know what I want to do. Is this brown? No, this is black. There we go. Oh my goodness, yes, this is a brush liner. Um, the palette, the one from Amazon, um, here, I think I still have it copy pasted. This one, yes I do. So this is the palette that I have on my eyeballs right now over top of the very expensive $60 naked palette. <laughs> um, what else was I talking about? Doing YouTube videos again. Yeah, I just want to figure out what I want to do because I don't want it to be, I mean, it could be some makeup, but like honestly, you don't really wear makeup anymore. So... It's just, you know, like it's fun sometimes and that's why I like doing lives because this is more fun to me to do my makeup while talking like directly to you guys versus um, doing a, like an actual video where I'm not able to like one-on-one -on -one talk with you guys. That's what makes it, at least for me, that's what makes... Um, Sorry, talking while putting on eyeliner is not easy. Oh, what happened? No! Do you still do your nails? I haven't done my nails in probably three years. <laughs> probably, like, the last time I had my nails done was my wedding, which was even longer than that. I just don't, I don't know. There we go. Jay, what is my new passion? My new passion is Rune Factory 4, and I had to literally peel myself away from Rune Factory to do this stream today because I was right at the part where they were like, come with us to Obsidian Mansion, and I was like, I need to do the stream. <laughs> oh my gosh. I also, um, I want to start doing more resin stuff. I haven't done it in like a couple, a week or so because, well, the room that I have everything in is too dark. So I just finally got a new light. Um, yeah, it's like I'm not wearing, I don't know. I just haven't been wearing makeup a lot, pretty much. It's, it's just, yeah, it's if I'm not going anywhere and like, I don't know. I've been trying to get more into it, get back into it. Where did my lash trimmer go? Because it's definitely fun when I apply it, but, like, I guess that where I'm at is I have more fun applying my makeup um, and, like, talking with you guys and making it, like, a thing like this than I do applying it and doing a video, applying it, and then immediately taking it off. Does that make sense? Like, I guess that's just of where I'm at I have more fun with like the actual process of putting it on if I can if I can interact with you guys and like make it fun so maybe this was something that I did on twitch a long time ago like when I first started twitch we did this but maybe it could be something that could be fun to actually do on YouTube because then that could get me to actually do YouTube again um but we did this thing called makeup roulette where we had a specific palette or a specific like um we did like a specific palette or like a specific set of colors 
And then we had like a um, wheel to, uh, so that like, we'd be like, okay, we're gonna do, hold on, I'm looking for a black eyeliner. Do I have a black eyeliner? If I don't have a black eyeliner, is this black? Sure is not, it's blue, but you know what, that's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, we can do that. So like, we'll be like, okay, so this week we're gonna do, you know, this particular color and like list out a palette or something like that and then put them all on like the wheel, spin the wheel. Allie McWheel getting use. And this is something that's a lot of fun too because then we get to all see what everybody else did as far as their looks go. So it's a really fun way to get your creativity going as well as getting to use the stuff that you never use and maybe try different looks that you've never tried before. Where is my eyelash curler? Why? Oh my gosh. I don't know where it is. Ugh. <gasps> I found it. Why is it over there? It's made you a lot more interested in skincare. See, I wish that that's what happened to me, but it has not. I have like days where I'll be like, oh, I'm going to do skincare and it's going to be awesome and this, 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 and then I just <clears throat> fail. What brand did I use with the bottom lash line and the waterline? Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so bad. Thank you. Like, call me out if you want to know what something is because I always forget. Um, On the bottom lash line is from ColourPop. It's the Creme Gel Liner in Icebreaker. And then on the actual waterline... is by Illuminati and it is gel paint in electric blue. I just randomly grab stuff and don't like think about what I'm doing. So if you want to know, best bet is to ask because I'm really awful at saying anything. But I do find like I'm so bad with my skincare, but I do find we need to fix this side. I don't know what's going on over there. Um, if I'm better at wearing makeup it kind of forces me to be better with my skincare which makes sense because like I I have to wash my face I have to like take my makeup off I can't sleep in makeup I can't do anything like that it makes me feel like just I can't do it so um this is an easy way for me to actually remember to go about doing all my skincare stuff Yes, ColourPop. I love ColourPop's um, pencils. They have really, really nice creamy gel pencils. And they have a million colors. That's one of the reasons I really like ColourPop is because I feel like they have done a really great job of catering to everybody. They have products that are for people that like more neutral stuff and they have lots of products for people who like bold and fun things. And because they're all making it in their own, like in-house, which nobody does, they're able to do all this stuff at a really good price point and get stuff out so fast. And that makes them super awesome. People used to say sleeping in your makeup would make you age 10 years each time. <laughs> Did it scare you into not wearing your makeup to sleep? Because it would scare me. <laughs> Yeah, Clarisonic is, uh, they're, they're going out of business or they're stopping making their, their things, the brush, the brushes, which is so crazy to me. So crazy. I got this thing recently that I've been really bad at wearing. Is it in here? I might've brought it. I apparently brought it into, um, my bathroom but it's like this led mask and it looks like it's straight from a horror movie like it is honestly one of the most terrifying things i've ever seen um but it looks like this white mask and then it changes all these different colors um i haven't been good with it but i've just read that they're good <laughs> so like i need to be better to see if i can actually see a difference and take pictures because i'm definitely one that's been I, i'm guilty of being like this is great, um, but not knowing like if it actually is or if it's just 
placebo effect of, I spent a lot of money on this, so it must be great. So maybe that'll be a video that I'll do. I'll like use it every day or I'll, I'll do like a month of it and keep track of it. I'm so bad at those types of things. Why won't you blend out? I've used For You in the past and I really didn't like it as much as Clarisonic, but the main reason was because I have always been someone who like, I want to feel that something is working and Forio is so gentle. <laughs> so I think it was just that like, I was so used to using products. Um, maybe not just, I don't know, just using stuff where I can actually feel it. And Forio is just super, 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 super gentle. So that definitely is, is one of the reasons I was like, eh, I'm not going to use this so much. Wow, fallout is all over my face. This is one of those times that I wish I had like a beauty blender or something because I generally don't use one very much. But, whoa, whoa. For this exact thing, it's actually really nice. Do you and Paul play more PC games than console? Um, Paul plays more PC than console. I play Switch more than anything else. I I just beat Paper Mario, which was amazing. I loved it. I can't speak highly enough about it. Um, and now I'm playing Rune Factory 4, which also has been, like, super, super fun. Um, Paul is playing Ark, which he's obsessed with. And then uh, we just got Tony Hawk, and we got Marvel's Avengers, but we did get it for playstation although i guess we could have gotten it for pc the playstation sounds like it is going to explode when it plays marvel's marvel avengers it literally i've like every time that we use it for anything like when we played last of us 2 it definitely sounded like it was going to explode but for marvel's avengers which clearly is like formulated to be on the playstation 5 that is not even out yet that thing is struggle bus <laughs> struggle bus you're playing Animal Crossing? Oh my gosh, I played Animal Crossing really hardcore when it came out for like two months. Um, and then I burnt myself out. There's like, if you put that much time into it, there's not much else to do. And the way that they're going about Animal Crossing is by doing these like monthly or bi-monthly updates, which is nice. And I understand like, how Animal Crossing is supposed to work. It's like supposed to be like a little daily thing. You check in, whatever. But like since it came out right when the world went to hell, <laughs> everybody just like used it so much and it was an, it was escapism. And so at this point, it's just um, you're a mod on both accounts or wait, you weren't a mod on your other one. I didn't even realize that. Go back on your other one and I'll fix it. <laughs> what is unraveled? I feel I feel like I can see. Does it have like a little dude that kind of looks like um if it's what I think it is, it's like a little yarn dude that kind of looks like a one of the sack boys from uh what you call it? Oh my gosh. What is it? What are the sack boys from? You're not a mod. Well, why didn't you just tell me? I would have made you a mod, you fool. <laughs> You're a mod on everything else. I don't know. I feel like we don't even need... Little Big Planet, thank you. I feel like we don't even need mods on anything. Everybody is always so nice to me. It's like very, very rare that we need to mod anything. There you go. You got your mod status back. Okay, do I want to do lashes? If I put lashes on, they're like going to immediately be taken off. But I feel like, oh, also I have no blush on or anything. Maybe we should do that. I forget how to put makeup on. And now I have no desk because it's covered in all of this stuff. What are my favorite brushes? Um, anything that is in my brushes thing. This is mainly Sigma. I use Sigma more than anything. There's a couple of other ones and stuff, but like, I just, Sigma, 
Figma is the ride or die. I haven't bought brushes in a very long time. The mod issue is over a year. Yeah, I know, right? Like there's been very, very few. And nine times out of nine, really, 10 out of 10 times that it's happened, it's been like some random child on Twitch that is just annoying. <laughs> Like, there's been zero issues, and that makes me so grateful because I know that, like, that is not the case for a lot of people. Um, where is my lash glue? The cinnamon toast, yeah. <laughs> the beauty bakery brushes? No, I haven't. Do we need to look at them? Literally, that could be a stream in its own. It's just, let's see, Beauty Bakery brushes. Here we go. Whoops, what did I just click? Bakeware Makeup Essentials. Aw, cute. See, these types of brushes look so cute, and I, like, love them the idea behind them but then i just think about the fact that this is how i stash all of my brushes and so all of that cuteness is gone like where where are you supposed to put those so that you see them do you know what i mean unless you're like laying them flat out somewhere every you don't want to put the brush side down because that would ruin the brush which is the part that you're actually using so it's like in theory it's very cute um, whoops, that's not what we want to see. Hello. But in practice, it's just not. That's what's kind of a bummer. Let me see if I can fix what I just did. Ba bam I wanted to see what you guys were saying. Did I fix it? I did. Twisted your, your blush over your nose to make it look like got a cute tan yeah I always see that like on a filter and I like it's neat in like thought but then it never looks good <laughs> yeah like the Harry Potter ones I definitely got those when those ones were like all the rage and I was like this is so cool and now I have no idea where they are like literally none and I definitely have a couple of brushes that fall into that like super cute like category but then I'm like what am I gonna do with this tiny cookware not brush handles <laughs> I actually have I have a set of mini whisks that kind of look like this um I have actually a lot of like not that small but my whisks uh let me find them here I'll go big screen while I look for them let's see they're really cute and they have little um they have little bears on them so they're like ultra cute Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta go to orders because I'm not gonna find them otherwise. Whisks. There they are. Okay. See, they're like little babies, and they have like cutie little bears on them, and they're like, they're like this big. But these are so perfect for like drinks, um, for eggs. As it says there, like to to beat eggs to make like scrambled eggs and stuff like that I it says whipped cream no not whipped cream sauces yes if you were making like a sauce like a small amount or a dressing stuff like that these are so good for that but yeah that's related <laughs> hello moonlight shimmer they come in an apron brush belt okay that's cute that's super cute Oh my gosh, yes, the, the over the nose, the blush that does like this. And I'm like, that is cute on this filter, but that will not be cute on my actual face. <laughs> you don't even cook, I know. We got to do that too. That's something else that we're adding to Discord is we have, um, we have two things that I need to like actually get my game together. One of them is called Leisha Learns, where it's going to be me and whoever else wants to. Um learning something new 
we tried this earlier this year and it was a huge failure and I learned lots of things about myself. <laughs> but I want to try and do it again. I just got to figure out what we want to do. And then the other one is um, in the kitchen where we're all going to like every week we make something new. Um, and that one I'm going to put up something tomorrow because I did like a little survey to see what everybody wanted to like wanted to do for their for this and everyone wants to know how to make snacks snacks man lashes are so rude you always make the de best dishes oh thank you yeah I've made like for Violet's birthdays in particular I've gone like super too much like over the top um, Jess, did you redact, red redact your own message? <laughs> yes, we also have music and book clubs. We just, we're starting a book club with, um, A Court of Thorns and Roses. Is that what that book's called? I'm listening to it. Um, and then we're doing a music one that I'm actually very excited. Ron started that one and it's so cool because it is, um, it's like a community playlist. So like this week is all the songs that make you feel pumped and I'm laughing really hard because I submitted my song and my song is very much um not at all <laughs> well it's like the most obvious one it's probably the first one that every single person thought of when they hear music that gets you pumped at least it is if you are in your 30s because <laughs> it immediately took me back to like fifth grade and listening to jock jams so that's where that's at Ooh. oh oh that was weird. At least it didn't fall all the way. It, no, oh my gosh, yes, <laughs> Jay, Jay, is that what you said too? <laughs> pump up the jam, pump it up. I was like, I'm sorry, but your phrasing made me immediately need to say this one. That's so funny. And then it made me want to watch Space Jam. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's that's really funny. Yay, lashes. Age 31. Okay, so it's it's not just me then and Ron's probably like this is the sixth person who have who has said pump up the jam. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. That makes me laugh. Yes, get involved. It's super fun. We have a lot of fun on there. Um, today, in an hour and a half, we're watching Mulan in the VIP section. If you have Amazon Prime, you can get it for free. But we're watching Mulan, the new Mulan. Um, I'm excited. Oh, you still can submit it, but, like, I mean, I also already said it, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who has also said that one. <laughs> oh man. So funny. Like I was trying to like think like what, like Paul submitted a good song for it too. Um, which if you've, if you've seen A Knight's Tale, it's one of the songs in there. Um, that's really, that, that Paul submitted. But I literally sat there and I was like, I cannot think of any other song when I think of like pump up like what makes you feel pumped up the first thing I thought of was Space Jam actually I could have done the Space Jam song too everybody get up it's time to slam now we're gonna roll thing going down like that's absolutely also also where my brain goes but like when I was in um when I was in fifth grade I was in Jump Rope Club, and in Jump Rope Club, all I remember was that my teacher would blast the Jock Jams sound, like the the um, CD, like the first Jock Jam CD. I don't know if there's more than that. Um, <laughs> so, like, when I think pop up, I just think of, like, I have to do Jump Rope right now, and... <laughs> Dude, I wish I was still in... Can we... Can that be our new fitness thing? We have, um... 
we have a uh, another channel on Discord called Fitness Room that is essentially just Sarin, who is Shakar in the chat. It's essentially just her posting when she works out because I everyone else just like doesn't. Maybe that's what we need to do. We need to do a jump <laughs> rope club. I have a jump rope. I bought one. I bought one recently. Um. And I've just been like, I used it for one minute because I was trying to show Violet how to do it. I am so insanely out of shape. <laughs> because I was like, this is the hardest thing on earth. When you, yes, when you work out. But it's, it's just you, you dominate that channel and I'm so proud of you for it. Maybe that's what I'll like do. That'll be my thing for September. I'll be like, all right, every day you have to do one more minute of jump roping than you did the, the day before. So by the end of the month, yeah, right. By the end of the month, I'll be able to do 30 minutes of jump rope. Maybe if it's like 31 minute sessions in one day, because I did one minute and I was like, this is the longest minute of my entire life. <laughs> You just watched Mulan? How was it? Yes, I'm for it. Sadine, you don't have, um, you don't have ring fit, do you? Because I've definitely been debating doing, like, I was debating doing ring fit on, um, Amazon Live. I'm super nervous because I am not in shape at all. And, um, I'm, like, absolutely, like, not. And so I'm like, do I really want to do ring fit in front of people but at the same time amazon live does fitness stuff but it's with all these fit people so i'm like wouldn't it be better to see average joe leisha looking like a fool and making you go wow i could do that too <laughs> you should like i it's really fun it's really really fun and it makes you so sweaty so like i did do it on twitch one time and exactly what is the difference and most likely on amazon nobody's gonna say anything so maybe yeah maybe that and that'll be like a good commitment for myself more than anyone else i just won't talk i'll just be i'll just be doing ring fit and trying not to like absolutely fall over i don't think i've ever done ring fit for more than like 25 minutes so for a full hour is terrifying Plays it on Twitch in the mornings as her workout. <sighs> okay, I'm going to do it. I almost did it yesterday, and then Paul's like, let's film Marvel's Avengers. And I was like, oh, thank God, I don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> um, Samantha, I am using Cover Effects Power Play. That is my foundation that I grabbed today. I don't hate it. Yeah, maybe it'll just be like a 30-minute stream. But then I'll feel better about myself. Because, like, nothing's worse than when you just feel like this. And this is how I felt for a long time lately, and I'm over it. I'm actually, like, this is the first time, I think, in all year that I'm wearing a shirt that actually, like, fits me. Like, is actually, like, the size that I, not, like, six sizes too large. Um, and when I put it on, I was like, oh, my God, this is too small because it's actually, like, fit. And it's weird because like everything that I wear is Paul's uh, like XL unisex shirts and they're they're a lot bigger um, but I actually am not mad at this <laughs> cool okay I'm definitely gonna start doing that on on Amazon then um, and I gotta figure out something else because I want to do more twitch streams too that's not just me and Paul which means I gotta do it during the week I, I don't know what to do okay so this was been an hour and 30 minutes of me hanging out with you guys which has been awesome um my goal is to start doing these every single saturday um and then also of course doing um yeah i don't like how fitted shirts feel so i'm like i'm like oh, okay i'm gonna try and get used to this so that i don't always feel like i'm wearing these like giant shirts that are too that are like i don't know I'm happy with how I feel in this shirt, which makes me happy because usually I don't like too tight shirts. Anyways, um, my goal is to do these every single Saturday on here because I really like hanging out with you guys and then to also 
start doing more actual YouTube videos. Those are also on my board of things to do. Um, but if you want to hang out with me more than just on Saturdays, I do Amazon live streams literally almost every single day where there is a link in the description here that I can grab. You can follow me on Amazon. Woo! And if you follow me, you can get notifications for when I go live on there. I do stuff on Amazon, everything from doing makeup like this to doing, um, to doing, I don't know, video games, to doing cooking, like all sorts of stuff on there. So you can follow me on there so you get updates on that. Um, also, somebody was asking about all of my stuff in the background here. All of that should be on my Amazon shop. If it is not, yeah, it's going to be in like 10 minutes when I add everything to it. <laughs> um, and then I also do streaming on Twitch. Twitch is definitely more like, I don't want to say not safe for work because then that makes me think of like OnlyFans, but it's definitely a lot more like goofy and crazy. Um, and like we're doing horror games on there, all sorts of stuff. Lots of fun. Uh, let me add that one too. Flash. Lucialand. That one's with Paul. Oh, cool. It wasn't a link. Ah! Yeah, Jay does streams without being on it and it actually, um... Is awesome it's super fun did that make it a link cool that one was a link the other one was not um, the filter gets dropped yes that's what I mean when I say not safe for work there is no filter and it is super super fun so both of those are great ways to hang out with me all of the time um, okay so Sandra says how is your curly girl routine coming along um, yeah I I don't know <laughs> this is where we're at but I'm not sure how I feel about it it's like a day it's like at this point it's literally every wash is different so it depends on how it washes if I like it or not but like I'm just leaving my hair alone at this point so we'll see where it ends up all right guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today um I will hopefully see you this week in an actual YouTube video and then I will definitely see you on Saturday when I come back to do another stream on here but then of course twitch and Amazon and I will try and be a lot better about posting when I go live on there on Twitter Instagram any of that stuff because I'm off I'm awful at being like hey come watch me on these things but anyways love you guys I'll see you soon